dual sided range. Uh, the range runs about 330 yards and we have an upper and a lower portion to the range. We work our range in six quadrants. As you can see here, we have 15 setups uh, on the grass, uh, the grass range. Our grass range runs about 150 yards across. So we work in six quadrants. Each day it's rotated through the six days uh, into the six quadrants. Uh, we set up 15 stations every day. During our big tournaments, we'll set up more stations because we do have a huge grass area here. If you pan back, you can see, as I talked about in the application, we have 25 stalls of mats that are used uh, during certain outings that we have and also used during inclement weather when the weather's uh, wet and we need to put them back onto the range. Also over here to the left, we have a full putting green, basically just used for practice and putting, not chipping. We have a short game area for that, but huge putting green here that's in the middle of the complex. So uh, our members and the guests can use the putting green uh, for practice and you'll see a lot of people that are putting a lot of work in there. You can also see out on the range, as I said in the application, we have a lot of targets that are used, different colored targets, and also even buckets that are used for short game pitching and chipping uh, areas where people can try to land them in the buckets. Our targets are color coded. Um, we have different areas where uh, players will work on different shots. So a lot of times players will come down here to work on the range, to work on short game shots. You can see we have several uh, 10 yard increment targets here where players can work on different wedge shots. We also have the bunkers out there. And as I said in the application, fairway cuts. So if people are hitting drivers, they can work up certain channels or corridors here, or let's say they're working to try to work on shots with irons over uh, bunkers and stuff. So we have different areas on the green where you have that and you can get that look and really practice that shot. Big thing here is we, with the dual sided range, it allows players, especially higher level players, to work on different wind directions when they're uh, practicing. So our prevailing wind will work from the upper range down to the lower range. So if a player wants to work on knockdown shots, a lot of times they'll come down to the lower range and work on that. Or if they're working on, let's say, moving the driver, trying to get it higher with the wind, they'll go to the upper range hitting a lot of drivers. So it really affords a lot of flexibility and a variety to be out on a range that has a dual sided range to hit a lot of different shots. Up here on our short game area here at the Philadelphia Cricket Club, you can see we have a huge short game area that can be used by both our members and guests when they come here. We have four bunker complexes all around the short game area where uh, basically anywhere up to about a 30, 40 yard shot can be practiced in the bunkers. Also a huge area where pitch shots can be played over bunkers. Um, we, can, we can even do uh, chipping areas where you can see there's tight chips, fairway cuts, um, you have elevated chips and also elevated pitches and also an area there where if you want to work on, let's say, more of a bump and run type shot, whether it be with chips or pitches, we have an area there that can be worked on. The, the, the short game area gets a lot of use here. It's maintained as our golf course is maintained, so the green speeds are <clears throat> kept every day anywhere between a 10, 11, and during member guest days, even up to a 12 if they speed the greens up. So our short game area here is a very, uh, well-used area of our golf course and our range amenities. On our upper range now, as I said earlier in the video, we have a dual range. It runs about 330 yards. We have a, a exact setup up here on the upper range with uh, grass tees. Grass tee up on the upper range runs about 130 yards, but still allows us a six quadrant setup uh, for daily use. They'll rotate them each day and allows for good fresh grass for the members to hit off of. Also behind here we have a whole uh, setup here with the, the mats as we do on the bottom range obviously for inclement weather or let's say uh, we want to save uh, turf conditions on big outings and stuff so we'll use the mats a lot of times um, also you can see uh, we'll, we'll put uh, props on for teaching and use for the members mirrors all kinds of uh, sticks and stuff uh, alignment rods for the members to use to help them with their practice but we have a full area up here on the upper range and also you can see over to the right here, we have our teaching area up on the range. So the teaching areas, uh, primarily obviously for all the lessons that we do, uh, the three sheds are uh, equipped with uh, electricity. We have our demo equipment up there. We have our track man, our flight scope. So we have full access on our range to all the equipment that we need and all the monitors to help the members uh, with lessons and also fitting of clubs up on the range. Also you can see here next to our teaching area, 
We also have a little uh, private putting green there, let's say for member uh, uh, during the lesson use and also a little bunker that's made up. So it really allows us during the lessons to either use our full short game area or if we have to do something real quick with the members during lessons, we could shoot over to that. So we have a full access up here uh, of uh, all the use that we need for the, the members and the, and the range. And also you can see here, if you look out, you have a great view of our golf courses. So for a lot of the members, they'll bring guests up here to really get a nice uh, scenic view of the entire uh, two golf courses. We're surrounded here with an island. We're in an island right now. We're surrounded by both the golf courses. So it allows for a real nice uh, view and nice scenery for the members uh, that like to bring the guests up to see where we're at. Lastly, in our video for our range application, uh, you can see here we're on an irons only range. This was just put in within the last couple years and really what it does is um, the grass that's used here is what's called zoysia grass. We actually, this is a different grass than is used on the other two portions of the range, the upper and the lower. We use this grass here because in our third golf course that's off uh, property, that's the type of grass they use. So they actually have an, an irons only range here where we have it set up similar to the upper and lower range. And you can see it gets a totally different view uh, with targets uh, downhill. And it's a great, uh, great use for the members, another amenity that they really enjoy. So this private little iron range has really been a big hit for the members. Also with the zoysia grass, it doesn't wear down as quick. So it allows the, for the use, we actually go onto a four quadrant set up here where you can keep it for a couple days and then keep rotating because the grass is a little more durable. So really this is a third sided if you want to look at it from the dual range, the upper and lower and then we're off to one of the sides and this allows for a whole nother look on the range to use it for the members and their guests to practice their golf.